We are currently in the middle of a lack of content in the Marvel life. You know, Marvel life, get it? You know, Mar- yeah, you, you get it. So anyway, we have like no content. We, we've had no content from the MCU in over a year. It's actually been almost two years, it, but obviously we're getting content now. And with it being a new year, it's 2021, we are getting a whole bunch of content from the MCU this year with 10 different projects, Disney Plus series and movies. And then also we're getting a couple other Marvel movies from the Spump over at Sony with Morbius and Venom 2 as well. So that's why I've decided to go on ahead and do a ranking of what I'm most excited for, least excited for, but of course, I'm excited for all of this because it's Marvel, so it was really hard to pick and choose, like, which I'm more excited for because I'm just so excited for all of this, and, uh, of course, you can also check out my other version of this, the DC version on my other channel, The DC Life, if you haven't already, so definitely check that out, but, guys, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, let's jump right into this breakdown with number 12 starting us off is what if uh yeah i I mean i think pretty much everyone is gonna have this at the bottom of their list because it just yeah you know you you gotta put something in last place and like like i said i am really looking forward to this i can't wait to see the marvel zombies and captain carter and t'challa as the black panther or or no t'challa as star lord but uh, also Jeffrey Wright as the Watcher, but the fact that this is not only an animated series, which, by the way, the animation looks fantastic, but it is an Elseworlds story, and it doesn't affect the main MCU timeline, it doesn't, you know, help build up this world around us, so that's why it's at the bottom of the list, because it doesn't really do anything to propel the future of the MCU, but that being said, It is definitely really cool, and I can't wait to see this this summer. Now, moving on to number 11 on the list, we have Ms. Marvel, the Ms. Marvel Disney Plus series. Now, Ms. Marvel, I've never really been the biggest fan of her character. Um, I remember when she was first introduced in the Avengers Assemble cartoon, which was my first introduction to the character, and I was like, who is this? And I still don't really care for the character too much obviously i like her more and i'm still gonna watch the show uh but like her powers never really made sense to me like she's basically kind of just like a younger female version of mr fantastic like she's stretchy she can make her hands big like it's a cool power but i've just never been that interested in the character but that does get me excited for this disney plus series because hopefully this series will get me interested and invested in this character so that going forward in the future of the mcu i'll love the character just as much as any other marvel character that we have in these projects so we'll see what happens but for now that is at number 11 but moving on to number 10 on the list we have the eternals this movie has had quite the journey. Um, I'm really looking forward to it because it's got an amazing cast and, you know, the suits look amazing from toys and artwork and stuff we've seen. And we've heard about the villains with the deviants and the celestials. So I'm really looking forward to all those aspects. But the fact it's so low on, on this list is just because we know so little about this movie. This movie was supposed to come out months ago and now it's delayed to this November. But we just don't know anything about this movie. And this is kind of like Guardians of the Galaxy, where nobody really knows these characters. I think they're even more obscure than the Guardians were before their movie. So this movie really has to teach us about these characters and give us a reason to like them. But with such a great cast here, I have no doubt that Marvel Studios is going to make us fall in love with these characters, just like the Guardians of the Galaxy, although... I doubt they're going to top the Guardians because the Guardians, they're just their own thing, their own awesome thing over there. But moving on to number nine on the list, we have Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. This movie will be releasing in theaters this July, July 9th. And I'm really excited for this one because um, just like with the Eternals, I don't know this character like really at all. 
But from what we've heard about this movie, it's a full-on martial arts style movie, which already gets me excited. But then we're going to be having this epic, huge tournament to win the Ten Rings, and we're going to see so many different types of characters with mutants and aliens and inhumans and, you know, all that other stuff that has been rumored here. And that just gets me really excited, especially the fact that we're getting the Mandarin here, the real Mandarin, possibly even the fake Mandarin as well, and um, also Fin Fang Foom. So, yeah, I'm just really excited for this, but uh, like I said, I don't really know much about the character, but hopefully this project will get me invested in this character and excited for the future. So, moving on to number eight on this list, we have Morbius. Now, some of you may be surprised that this movie is so high up on the list, and, like, that I'm more looking forward to this than, like, Shang-Chi and Eternals, but Morbius is just such a cool character. I love, I, I growing up, I always loved monster characters, so, of course, I love vampires, and a vampire that fights Spider-Man, of course, that's cool, and Jared Leto is perfect for this role, but... I think the big thing that gets me excited for this and probably gets everybody most excited for this is from the trailer when we saw Michael Keaton's vulture appear there at the end. And we still have no idea what's going on there. Is that forming the Sinister Six or we don't really know, but it definitely gets me interested and intrigued and excited to see what happens with all that in this movie. And also, I'm just really excited to see Morbius. So now, guys, moving on to number seven on the list here, we have the other movie from Sony on this list, which is Venom 2, aka Venom Let There Be Carnage, which we may or may not be getting a trailer for during the Super Bowl. That thing may or may not be fake, but I'm definitely looking forward to Venom 2. And, you know, if you asked me like a month ago, where would you put it on this list? It probably would have been lower. But on New Year's Eve, I did rewatch Venom just because it was on TV, and it reminded me of how good that movie was. And now this sequel is probably going to even be even better because we have Carnage, Venom's arch enemy in this movie, and that just gets me really excited. Plus, you know, I I don't even know. It's just going to be really cool. I'm excited to see what they do with this movie. Uh, maybe there's something, some sort of Tom Holland Spider-Man cameo, we don't know, but I am definitely excited for Venom Let There Be Carnage, but moving on to number six on the list, we have the Hawkeye Disney Plus series, and I love Hawkeye, he's one of my favorite Avengers, and uh, while, you know, it would have been cool if he got a movie just so that he could get that recognition, a series is better, and it's going to be based off of the Matt Fraction run, which I haven't read, but I've heard that it's really good. And, you know, Hawkeye is a character that not many people love, but this series sounds like it's going to be really good because you have Hawkeye training Kate Bishop, which is going to be played by Haley Steinfeld, which is perfect casting there. And then you're going to have all these other characters in the series, like Yelena Belova popping in after her appearance in Black Widow. And we're going to have characters like Echo, which is a Daredevil character, and the Clown, and uh, the Swordsman, and all these different characters are going to be appearing in this series. And that's what really gets me excited for this series. Uh, which will be coming later this year. So I'm excited for Hawkeye. But now getting into the top five of the list with number five, we have Loki. Uh, Loki, I was not really looking forward to like at all until we saw that trailer at the Disney Investor Day. And that just blew my mind. Like I knew this show was going to be good, but I didn't know it was going to be this good. Like seeing at the end that President Loki thing, because that's the thing from the comics, and seeing... Like, what they're doing with this series, like, we saw Loki as D.B. Cooper, and how they're explaining things through history is like, oh, it was just Loki, and that's a really cool idea. Uh, I, a lot of people would probably put this higher up on their list, but I put it at number five just because, you know, it's not really going to do that much to build up the future of the MCU, but then again, I love the character of Loki, so I am definitely really, really excited for this. And this is the only Disney Plus series for Marvel, other than What If, that we know is getting a second season for sure. So that gets me excited. But moving on to number four on the list, we have Black Widow, which 
you know, hopefully will maybe be releasing in theaters in May. Uh, I'm hoping that they decide to do what they're doing with Ryan, The Last Dragon, and release in both theaters and on Disney Plus because I, I I'm probably not gonna be going out to a theater in May. You know, I'd much prefer to just sit down on the couch and turn on Disney Plus and then boom, Black Widow. So I'm really excited for this movie because I'm excited to see Yelena Belova, the new Black Widow, going forward in the MCU, and Taskmaster is just gonna be so cool. Uh, Taskmaster is probably the part I'm looking forward to the most because he's just such a cool character and hopefully he does survive this movie to go on to maybe join the Thunderbolts or something in the future. Uh, but also, you know, Black Widow, she's been there since the beginning of the MCU first appearing in 2010, I think in Iron Man two, somewhere around that time. And it's about time that she deserves her own movie. But moving on to number three on the list, we're at the top three here, guys. We have the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. I'm really excited for this series because Captain America is probably one of my favorite MCU characters. He's my favorite out of the MCU trinity. So I'm excited to see the mantle of Captain America passed down to Sam and possibly Bucky as well. And plus, these are just two really cool characters that never really got the development that they needed. So I'm excited to see these characters in action, Sam becoming the new uh, Captain America here in the series. And also just the other stuff we're seeing here, the, the return of Baron Zemo, US agent, Sharon Carter's back here. And then probably the thing I'm looking forward to the most is the setup for the Thunderbolts, which has been heavily rumored for this series. And I'm super excited for the Thunderbolts. I, I, I love the Suicide Squad, but the Marvel version is going to be even better with characters like Abomination and Baron Zemo and Taskmaster and Yelena Belova. I'm just so excited for it. But guys, here we go with number two on the list, WandaVision, which will be releasing its first two episodes tomorrow. Of course, I will be doing my episode review, episode rev episodes review and breakdown. So stay tuned for that. Hit that subscribe button and notification bell if you haven't already. But this series is going to be so cool and so weird because I love the characters of Wanda Maximoff and Vision. Vision is one of my favorite characters in the MCU, and I just can't wait to see these characters get developed more. They're doing a House of M type thing, and plus, just based off the trailers, this show's weird. Like, it, I'm more interested than anything in this series, because I just want to know what's going on. Like, how did Wanda get trapped in the sitcom reality? Did she create it herself, or is Mephisto doing this? Uh, how are we going to travel through the different decades here? What is it going to be like from the outside world with S.W.O.R.D.? So I'm just really excited to see and just to find out what is happening. And by the sounds of it, we won't find out in the first couple episodes, but I'm just excited for this series. But now moving on to number one on the list, which you can probably figure out by process of elimination. And this is probably at the top of everyone's list. Spider-Man 3. This... This movie, even if it wasn't a Spider-Verse movie, which hasn't technically been confirmed yet, but it basically is happening. Even if it wasn't Spider-Verse, I would be so excited for this movie because I loved Homecoming and I loved Far From Home and I love Tom Holland's Spider-Man and I just love this franchise. And now you tell me you're bringing back Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield and you're doing all this crazy stuff here with the Spider-Verse and bringing back all these villains. Jamie Foxx's Electro, Alfred Molina's Dr. Octopus, ch bringing in Charlie Cox's Daredevil, which none of this has been confirmed and we don't know what's actually happening and not. But I am just so excited for this movie. Hopefully we still get to see it in December. Hopefully it doesn't get delayed. But I am just excited to see Spider-Man 3 and hopefully we find out the title sometime soon. So anyways, guys, that is my list. That is my ranking of what I am most excited for from Marvel in 2021. So guys, let me know your own rankings and your own list down in the comments below. What do you think about my list? What projects are you most looking forward to in 2021? So thanks so much for wa watching. Please drop like if you enjoyed this video and hit the subscribe button so I can keep you up to date on everything that goes on in the Marvel life.